The ISB has published an exposure draft with a package of proposals to help improve the information companies provide about acquisitions at a reasonable cost. Through this exposure draft, the ISB is asking for your feedback about whether this package of proposals meets the objective. The package aims to address three main concerns the ISB heard in the post-implementation review of its business combination standard. One, that investors are receiving insufficient information about the performance of acquisitions. Two, that impairment losses on goodwill are sometimes being recognized too late. And three, that the impairment test is viewed as costly and complex. The exposure draft proposes improvements to two main areas, the disclosure requirements about acquisitions and the impairment test of cash generating units containing goodwill. Starting with disclosures, there are two main aspects to the IASB's disclosure proposals. First, information about the performance of strategic acquisitions. In the year of acquisition, a company would be required to disclose its acquisition date, key objectives, and related targets for the acquisition. After that, a company would disclose the performance against those key objectives and targets. The information disclosed is information reviewed by the entity's key management personnel. Second, quantitative information about expected synergies aggregated by categories such as revenue synergies, cost synergies, and other types of synergies. This includes quantifying for each category of synergies the expected amount of the synergies, cost to achieve them, and the expected time frame for achieving those synergies. The ISB heard from investors that those were the information needs that they had. The ISB also heard from companies that some of this information is so commercially sensitive that it should not be required in financial statements. So the ISB is proposing an exemption from disclosing some of this information in specific circumstances. Companies also raise concerns about the cost of disclosing this information for many acquisitions. So the ISB is proposing to require disclosure information only about the performance of the most important acquisitions. The ISB is calling these strategic business combinations. Overall, the ISB is proposing a package of disclosure requirements that, in its view, strikes an appropriate balance between investor needs and company concerns. Next, I'll move on to the impairment test of cash generating units called containing goodwill. There are three key proposals in the exposure draft. First, it clarifies how a company allocates goodwill to cash generating units for impairment testing. This change aims to reduce shielding in the impairment test. Second, it requires disclosure of which reportable segment a cash generating unit is in. This added transparency will help investors assess the reasonableness of assumptions used. Third, it simplifies and improves how companies calculate value and use. We invite you to review the proposals and send your feedback. For more information, visit IFRS.org.